so in the previous session we had a discussion about cms and we also discussed about that before proceeding we will be talking about what is a static website so whenever you are looking at a website all the websites basically they are made of html css and javascript now how you can manage this html css javascript as well as your content the way you manage it makes the difference so in the old days or long time back all our websites the html that was to be written for a web page a web page which you see is primarily html like a page which you see right now and if you do a right click and do a view source over here you'll be able to see the source and if you notice over here this is completely html a lot of html is there now someone has to write this html for uh, developing the pages so long time back or still today some people make websites with writing by writing the html by coding in html itself and when people do so they are not using any kind of content management systems that means they are manually creating or writing the html and uh, embedding the content in between that and the websites which are created in this manner using uh, only html css javascript and images and all are usually referred as static website the primary aim behind these websites is that our content is not to be updated or added or modified every now and then so let me show you an example over here this is a simple uh, static website which has three pages so in general whenever you visit a website you will find a header area where there is the name of the website punchline your logo might be there there will be these primary links which are pointing to other pages this main page area where your content is shown and finally there is some footer section sometimes you have sidebars and other things but to understand it i have made this simple design where i have a welcome page i have a about us page and i have a products page so now whenever this content is to be managed i need to actually uh, go to my server upload or open these pages in some html editor modify the content and then save them back apart from that uh, there are few other issues also uh, relating to managing these websites is that uh, the common section is repeated all over the pages like if you see this home page you can see this the header and footer is being repeated so if there is a change in header and footer i will have to recreate that change in every page so let me show it to you with an example so let us say uh, i wanted a contact us page over here so how i am going to add a contact us page over here the procedure is going to be uh, that first of all i will have to open uh, one of these pages so that to manage the look and feel we will copy one of the pages fine so let us say i just open this about us page with an editor over here fine so in this editor what i will have to do is i will simply have to save this as contact us or i'll just call it as contact and i have saved this page now does just saving the page help so you will notice there is no link nothing that is being appearing over here that is not appearing over here so if i look at home page about us this the page is not coming up but if you directly go to your website and say contact.html you will get to see that particular page now issue here you will notice is that the link to contact us page is not available on any of these pages so what do we do about this how do we get these links in all the other pages well obviously we will have to edit the html code for this and add that link now one point to understand is when we have static websites all pages are individual pages the common section is continuously repeating in all the pages let me show you what i'm trying to say is i have opened the code for all these uh, 
pages you can see products index html and contact index is usually the home page so over here you will notice that these are the links these are getting repeated in uh, all the pages fine right? even in contact and uh, even in the about page is there so what happens is if i wanted the link to all the other pages this whole part has to be updated in all four pages so that means whenever we add one single page a lot of changes will be required in other pages this is one of the issues in the static websites and which makes it tedious while managing big websites so let us try to get this contact page fine so this is the contact page and we will update this contact page over here by saying contact us you can see i'm directly writing within the html code now here obviously i will want to show the contact us link uh, so what i'm going to do is we will copy this and paste it over here and here this will be contact contact html and here the text that we want to show is contact us text so let me save this and we will go to the contact page though so this time i'll have to go manually so let's go to contact dot html so this contact us page is open fine and it is showing the links to other things now when i click on products you will notice that contact link is missing when i go to about us page the contact link is missing and home page the link is missing so this is, is the issue that we have to uh, manage okay so over here i will simply copy this section and now i will have to update this in all the other pages as well fine I will have to update it in this page also. Save this, save products, and let me open the about us page also. And here also, I will update this. So, now what you notice is that I will have to update these four pages as well as the contact page with the set of links and save these pages. And finally, if it would have been an actual website, I will have to upload it on the server. Or maybe if there is some kind of interface provided on the server, I will have to just like what I am doing right now, using an editor directly on the server, I will have to edit all the pages. But the point is that for one page that got added and the link that was to be required to be displayed in the header section of all the pages, I had to make changes to all the four pages and then finally upload them again now let us have a look at our page over here let's go to the home page and you can see now it is showing the contact us about us is showing products is showing and this so the issue is here in this kind of website the management of content links and everything becomes a bit difficult a user needs to know HTML, CSS, JavaScript, or at least primarily understanding of HTML is required. Without that, the person will not be able to do so. Apart from that, any common repeated sections, if they get updated, you will have to make changes to all the pages. If suppose only the content section of contact us is updated, then I don't have to worry about it. I can just update it and save, but that is there. So this is uh, this is what makes management of static websites difficult or rather it, it's a cumbersome process. You cannot have very huge websites with lots and lots of pages uh, with plain static HTML type of content because it is going to be very, very difficult to manage. It's not that you cannot do it, but as you notice, just with four few pages, we uh, got this particular issue. And here right now, this is a very simple demonstration of uh, the basic pages over here. But as the site will get complicated, it will be difficult to manage. And that is where the role of content management 
systems come into picture which will take care of all these things for you automatically so that was an overview of the static website we'll be continuing our discussions in the upcoming sessions